Hey, what's going on guys? We Flooding here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about legendary schematics, where to farm them, how to get them, what to do, and get some tricks on them. So I'm talking about this because I just ended up getting my handgun and I also ended up getting an old bow today. And these things have a really low drop rate. They have anywhere between 1 to 3% chance. So you can see 1 in every 100 kills. Um, on average, remember it is a percentage, so it could be over 100, but there are ways to make it a little bit easier to obtain, even though it still will be a grind in the end. So one of the ones that I'm going after right now is Beacon. Beacon has the uh, legendary handgun schematic. So my suggestion is you want to end up fighting the pal of the item that you are looking to get. And don't worry, I'll include a list of everything that can drop from uh, where it can drop. So check the uh, description uh, for that list. So what you want to do is you want to get to your pal of choice, in this case Beacon, uh, down to as low as possible and to catch it like you would normally. The reason why you want to do this is because even if you catch it, it will still drop its drops. So in this case, Beacon drops the Ancient Civilization parts, it also drops uh, electric organs and I believe precious pelts as its normal drops. If you end up seeing a fourth bag drop from Beacon, that's the parts that you're looking for. That's your uh, uh, your schematics. But there is additional ways to make this a lot easier and I will get into those once I catch the Beacon and show you what I'm talking about. We'll get Beacon down a little bit lower, nice and comfortable. I use Gigaspheres on Beacon. It's uh, fairly easy to craft and uh, has fairly decent catch rate on it. I'm only at about 8% right now. It's not great, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, not yet. Let's see. Oh, I might get it here. Okay, so we get it here. So Beacon has dropped the Precious Plume, Electric Oregon, and ancient civilization parts. Now that's not the drop that I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to throw out the uh, beacon that I have in my party. You can go collect it from your pal box if you don't have it in your party like I did in advance. You throw out your pal, then you're going to equip the meat cleaver. Now the meat cleaver is here to butcher the pal. Remember that if you butcher a pal, it will not come back. But if you do end up deciding to use the meat cleaver, you can get the drops again. So I just press four on my keyboard and I just butcher the beacon. If you butcher the pal, you get their drops again, whether it's a boss or not. As you can see, it dropped it again. I don't see a fourth bag. That means I did not get the drop. The electric organ, precious plume, and ancient civilization parts will drop again. Now, again, it is about a 1-3% to 3 chance for this to happen, so you want to um, continuously farm, and if you go ahead and sleep, once a day passes, the pal will respawn again. So what you could do is you could just go target farm a lot of them. What I've ended up doing is I go after Beacon, then I go after King Paka for the helmet, and then I go after Chilla for the old bow is what my rotation was. Suzaku up here drops the legendary shotgun, and uh, the list will go down into the uh, settings as well inside the uh, description. So check that out. Um, additionally, if you go into your world settings, show you what to do here. If you go into your world settings, there's an option in the custom uh, options that you can select. Change world settings, custom settings. It will be, let's see where you are, uh, pal spawn rate. Where is pal spawn rate? Why can't I see it? Uh, where are you? That's capture rate. That's damage. I'll find it eventually, I swear. Um, appearance rate. Pal appearance rate. No, it affects game performance. So you can see I'm at 1. So what you can do is you can turn it up all the way to three, which means that three pals will spawn um, three times the rate. That also includes bosses. So if I turn this up to three, 
and I go ahead and I just save those settings really quickly and load into my game. I imagine I'm going to be swarmed by a lot of pals, but I'll show you a boss to show you that uh, it will indeed have uh, three times the spawn rate. Let's just load into the world now. It might take a little bit because that's a lot of pals spawning. There we go. Yeah. Let's head to a fast travel. As you can see, there's three times the uh, R socks over there. There's the initial spawn, and then there's three more. The Univolts here. There's one and then three more. R socks, one and three more. So those are just random pals. Let's go ahead and check out a boss. There's our fast travel here. Uh, just to make things simple, we'll go after the Chillet. The Chillet has the old bow schematic. Now these schematics... You're going to need a certain production workbench in order to do it. I believe it's weapon production one. And it does take quite a lot of resources in order to make, but it is totally worth it because these are some of the stronger items in the game. I don't really like the old bow that much, but the handgun is pretty nice on ammo and also it's uh, excellent on uh, damage as well. So as you can see, there are three boss chillets here. So if you really wanted to go after these schematics and you want to up your spawns, you get three chances at it. If you catch all of them, that's also three different uh, meat cleavers that you can use as well. We kill that off because uh, I do too much damage to it. But they will all drop their drops. And then, of course, meat cleaver, uh, meat cleaver will double them too. So there's all that. And I did not get the drop, unfortunately. But I already have the old bow, so that's fine. I believe that is everything on the legendary schematics. Again, I'm going to drop the list in the description. Check that out so that you can see where to farm for what, what you're looking for. There's armor, there's weapons, there's uh, guns and bows. There's a bunch of different things that you can get. Good luck on the hunt. It is a 1% drop rate. So uh, I will see you guys in the next one. And yeah, good luck on your farming. My name is Beefland, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care all. Laters.